right this minute verse number six says here now remember this he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and he who sows generously that blessings may come to others will also reap generously i'm reading the amplified version i want you to listen to the language where you raise your hand and be blessed let each one girl give thoughtfully and with purpose Aye. Oh. That means it has to have purpose. Why am I giving? It's not just that I'm giving, I'm giving. And it has to have thought in it. Don't sow like a fool. Don't be a dunderhead while he's giving. Think. Just as he decided in his heart, not in his mind. In his heart. So it has to come from the heart and your mind puts reason to it. Not grudgingly or under compulsion. Don't give because the angel has said it. For God loves a cheerful giver, notice this, and delights in one whose heart is in his gift. And God is able oh, man, here, to make all grace. How many graces? Oh. All grace. Oh, shit. Now, here is every favor mm. to share, mm. raton, mm. chain, mm. all favor. Mm. every favor and earthly blessing did it say heavenly blessing mm. earthly what here on earth here 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 earthly blessing ah, yeah. mm. come in abundance to you so that you may always how many times always always oh. under all circumstances how many circumstances oh. all circumstances regardless of any need mm. whatever need you have god is able to have complete sufficiency in everything. That means you don't need nobody. Complete sufficiency in everything. Mm. Being completely self-sufficient in Him. Mm. And have an abundance for every good work and act of charity, as it is written. Mm. The benevolent, mm. generous person scattered abroad, He gave to the poor. Israel. Now He says, He loves the prompt to do mm. He cannot do with the prompt. He can't do with Without a prompt to give, believer. That's what the scripture is saying. That's right. That means God cannot go anyone, anywhere, without a prompt to give, believer. Mm. In other words, God at the list of God's favorite, favorite people. It's a prompt to give, believer. If you got the book of Romans chapter number twelve, it gives you gifts and it says the gift of prophecy. Let him prophesy. Comma the gift of giving. Let him give. Mm. In other words, giving and prophecy are put in the same level. If you put prophet angel here and you put a giver here, God says they are equal. Wow. I can call myself major all I want. When a person who gives tests, there, God says this giver and the prophet is the same because the gift of giving is given next to the gift of prophecy. Mm. Here it is. Wherever you are right this minute, I want you to raise your hand and I'll pray for you. I want to pray for that seed. I want to pray for that giving. That giving that is beyond what you have ever done before. The gift that is being given thoughtfully mm. and for a purpose that outshines every prayer you have ever given. I pray right this minute that that gift, that giving, mm. develops a voice that is more eloquent than anything.